Jay, welcome. Uh, <laughs> you, you said you saw some deals taking longer to close, but you don't seem to have had much trouble closing a lot of deals still. Can you give us your, your sense of the overall marketplace and why you're confident that your sales organization is going to continue to execute? John, thank you for providing the opportunity to come back and join us. It is true that market is getting a little bit uncertain, so there's more caution out there. CIOs and CFOs are doing more scrutiny, but they still want to do things that help their business. And those things are making sure the business becomes more uh, aggressive, sorry, more agile and more competitive, and making sure they can reduce cost and simplify the infrastructure. Since Zscaler platform eliminates a lots of point products, legacy technologies like firewalls and VPNs, and increases cybersecurity. So we can make a strong business case to the CIO and CFO that we can help them. That's why even though there was a lot more scrutiny, we did quite well. We have a very strong go-to market machine and we have a great architecture, true zero trust platform. That's really what's helping us. Uh, I was talking last night at a dinner with uh, Aaron Levy of Box um, and uh, Dave Itacheria of MongoDB making exactly this point that there's a lot of replacement even in a slowdown that's going on. What are you finding uh, are sort of the bases uh, of that replacement? You're getting to it a bit, kind of switching out things that were perhaps coming from multiple vendors. How much of this is also driven by the tightness in the labor market, the difficulty in finding uh, highly skilled people to, to yes. monitor complex systems, wanting to switch in for things that are simpler to operate? Uh, it, it's both areas. In fact, when we look at justifying what businesses, what CIO should do, there's elimination of point products being one, there's a cost of operational cost reduction being two, and the risk of some cyber incident being three. Those are the three factors that are driving us. Enterprises have bought a lot of security boxes over the past years. In fact, one CISO talked to me, he said, I have an appliance fatigue, and he meant security appliance fatigue. I need to eliminate them. And the second factor is operational cost of running, managing, operating these old school Appliances that are sitting on premise is hard. Cloud, something that's natively meant for cloud is a lot easier. So a combination of the two helps us. A deal I talked about uh, during the earnings call with 145,000 employees, we eliminated about seven, eight different products from half a dozen vendors. And operational cost was a big part of it. And being able to do business in China securely uh, was a third part of it. So there are multiple factors that are bringing our solutions together. You know, uh, Wells said something about you guys the other day. They said the company was purpose built for exactly this type of macro environment where budgets are tightening and companies are looking for ways to lower costs. Can you explain to viewers what, what exactly they mean? Why you? Yeah. So in today's tight environment, budgets are tight but businesses still need to go on, so they need to be able to make sure their, the security and connectivity to application happens, and cyber must happen at the same time. Zscaler provides all three while bringing simplicity and reduction of complexity. And, and think of the old school legacy cars. They're very complex. Think of the new electric car. That's very simple. When we say Zscaler is purpose-built, Zscaler built the zero trust architecture on a clean slate when I started this company 13, 14 years ago. The other vendors, the legacy vendors, are essentially trying to bolt on an electric engine on top of their traditional engines. It doesn't really work. It may do good demos. And that's really why, because of the architecture and because we have so many happy customers who actually talk to other customers. CIOs like to talk to CIOs. Mm -hmm. CISOs like to talk to CS CISOs. We have so many <laughs> happy case studies where the results are good, they're very proven. And well, a lot of our business happens that way.